everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to another special edition video. Today, we're taking a look at another Overlander. This one being a full-blown travel trailer Overlander. This is a 2022 Imperial Outdoors Explorer model X22M front bathroom Overlander travel trailer. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we are gonna give you three things we love about this Overlander and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you a true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, Will, everything. Right. We're now in the Overlander category. Before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it feel to be a part of the Overlander community now? It's, it's pretty cool and, and this is one of the great things about partnering with RV Retailer. Yes! Um, again, they have so many different dealerships. They sell so many different units um, like these Overlanders. Um, two days ago we did a different one. More like a small teardrop type thing, but it's not a teardrop. Right. Um, but like that size, that class. And today we're taking a look at a at a full travel trailer. I'm yes. super excited. Two Overlanders in a row. Yes. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to Houston. He is going to be demonstrating some of this he's a salesman here at Sonny's in Duncan South Carolina and well if we get 500 likes we'll take a trip out to Tom's Camperland in Arizona okay uh, they're the number one Overlander dealership oh wow so they got a ton of these things all right sounds good well make sure to hit that like button <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs> well let's begin I'm on Imperial Outdoors website and we'll share it right here Jen will overall length including spare tires 23 feet 4 inches the width is 93 inches overall height 112 inches or 120 inches the unit weight is 5200 pounds the max trailer cargo carrying capacity is 8820 pounds and well there's one other thing that i saw here four seasons cap cap capability negative 40 degrees fahrenheit that's crazy you guys want it well here it is folks right up here well we do have a regular travel trailer hitch as an option you can get the articulating off-road hitch which is really great for off-road right it's articulating so it's not going to break like this but this one does have the standard hitch um the tongue weight uh we should have that in the specs it says 700 pounds right here and that's probably about right so uh, over here, Will, mm -hmm. this is where the propane tanks are going to go. Okay. I love how it's kind of stationed there. I love this green color. When I think Overlander, I think earth green. Right, right. You know, um, and then like a Darko bed liner material. This right here is a roto pack, and you can fill this with gasoline or water. Do one or the other. Don't fill it. Don't mix match. You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? But again, spare gasoline. Also, there's people that put water here. And again, there's, there's probably things that... Um, you could probably add more of these if you wanted to. I mean, this is a durable sucker. You know what, Will? We're doing it backwards. We're doing it backwards because okay. it's an overlander. Right here, we do have the outdoor shower, which is very nice. Okay, look at this. LED lights yeah, around isn't the that cool? whole thing. Do you know why? Why? Because you're not... The, the person buying this isn't going to a traditional campground. They are literally literally going to the middle of nowhere right and so they can't see they might be on the other side of their rv and they won't be able to see the True. lights makes sense uh instant hot tankless water heater right here is going to be a place for you to store your slinky slinky and then right there will is um place for you to put or to hook up the stinky slinky and then you have your uh black and gray tank dump station do you see what they did there no what, what's that so since it's so close you won't have to worry about uh because if you know if it was coming out the bottom all that would freeze got it so this way it's all insulated and only that little bit is subject but the valve is probably behind it so. got it and there is nothing underneath and right. um, when we talk to houston he'll explain that a little bit more we're gonna go over these in a just like two minutes okay city water fill gravity water fill very nice uh 30 amp connection right here storage right here Cool. Very nice thick doors. Yes. Thick roof as well, Will. Yeah, what was it, seven inches? Uh, you know, I, I uh, he did say seven inches. I saw online that it was six inches. Okay. But a six or a seven. Six, hey, six and a half, you know? <laughs> Who's counting, right? 
And then, well, once we're inside, uh -huh. it looks like there's pistons here. Okay. So this probably opens up. Yeah. And then right here, this is the Euro style windows. I will show you this is inside as well. And they're dual pane. Cool. I love the graphics. Explorer RV, very nice. Coming around the back, Will, right here, this is a jack system. It's called the high lift. Um, you do have not one, but two spare tires. And uh, it's just, it's nice because it's a jack lift. Right. Uh, you don't want to use your stabilizing jacks. You want to use this when you do have to change your tires. Right. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Maxxis tires. Nice. Razor MT. I love these. 33-10.50 R15LT. These are just so cool, really aggressive. Uh, they remind me of the uh, tires on my truck, which is cool. But don't worry, guys. <laughs> I'm not overlanding. I, I, my, my, my tires look like that just for the look, <laughs> just for the show. And then right here, Will, we do have a receiver hitch on the back. Good for a bike rack and everything. Cool. And then just like storage trays. And then there is a place for you to put up uh, your license plate. And a backup camera. Yep, it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. Big shout out to Furion for sponsoring this video. Well, Lippert sponsors it. Fury, uh, Lippert Oats Furion. If you guys need a Furion backup camera, use our link down below. We appreciate cool. you guys. Model X22M. That's just the other side of that storage. Okay. Right yes, sir. Okay, nice windows. Very nice panel. Wow, big on awning the whole lights. length. Yes, and then right here, Will, we're taking a look at this now. And let's kick it over to Houston so he can tell us a little bit more about what's going on here. Great, so just tell us a little bit about the suspension and everything that's going on here. It's Houston that's from right. Sunny's in Duncan, South Carolina. Thanks so much for being back on the show. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me again. So tell us what you were telling us. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this vehicle is built for the roughest terrain possible. Yes. Uh, so honestly, uh, this doesn't give you a whole lot of clearance right now, uh, but it does have a remote uh, that actually will uh, lift the unit up. Uh, so it's a hydraulic system that will lift the unit up and give you about an extra 20 inches of clearance. Now, why would somebody need or want 20 inches of clearance? So when you're traveling, obviously you don't want to travel uh, with the unit in the up position at all times. Uh, but if you uh, want to go off road, uh, then uh, this will allow you to lift it up mid train um, and uh, keep trucking along. So when you're in tow mode, you place it down, lower center of gravity, less likely to blow around. And then when you go off the grid off terrain it raises up absolutely yeah so it's better for towing when it's down and then when it's up uh it's better for uh missing the rocks and stuff stuff like that yeah perfect and then tell us about this suspension yeah so uh it is like i said a hydraulic suspension uh, a lot of people are scared about this uh, kind of suspension but they've had zero warranty claims on it since the consumption of it good um so it's a really good suspension um, everything is through the frame, so the axle and everything uh, is through the frame. You won't see it underneath the frame. Okay. Um, so so it's independent suspension. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, independent suspension, and uh, as you see down there, there's nothing uh, below the frame, so you're not gonna be dragging any of uh, yeah. your outlets or anything like that. So. Awesome. And then what, what other features do you want to tell us while we have you? We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you again uh, for having me. Uh, so another cool thing that I really like about this unit, uh, it does have a built-in air compressor. Uh, so it's got a quick connect hose here. It's, okay. It's got an air compressor tank on it already. So uh, honestly, these are big tires. You can always fill those up, fill up your toys, whatever you might have with you. Um, and so, that's actually huge people don't I mean people who want this will probably realize but when you're off-roading and stuff like that Sometimes you got to drop the tire pressure But then uh, you certainly don't want the tire pressure dropped when you're going down the highway because that's not safe And you were telling us about lithium-ion batteries. Yeah, so this one will have lithium-ion batteries um, Is that is that right in there? No, so it's actually gonna be underneath the bed inside. Okay um, And that's where uh, all of your power will come from is underneath uh, the bed um, and there are packages where you can um, have multiple lithium batteries and extend your solar power as well. Perfect. Yes, sir. Anything else you want to add about the show or uh, not the show, the unit? Uh, other than that, it's a great unit. Uh, very, very nice uh, for any off-road uh, event. Perfect. And what's your extension here at Sunny's? Uh, here at Sunny's is 2253. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me again. Great. Again, thank you so much, Houston. We appreciate you. If you guys come to uh, Sunny's, even if you're not looking at an Overlander, they sell Grand Design, they sell Alliance, they sell a whole bunch of stuff. Make sure you ask for them. We always appreciate when uh, the salespeople volunteer to help us on the video. Right. Uh, right here, we do have the Lippert Component Solid Steps. I love those. Stick around, folks. Uh, nice grab handle right there and a nice power awning. 
Furion power on the outside, very nice. Nice. Again, like the Darko material, like this is made to be rugged. It's right. Made, it's made to get wet. I actually saw uh, a video on YouTube, like pe somebody was driving this through the river. Uh -huh. If we can use that footage, so I think that was done by Tom's Camperland. Oh, so okay. we'll put the footage, you're seeing it now. It's really, really cool. Cool. And then uh, coming around, Will, what the heck did he say this was again? Just more storage. Yeah, right? more storage. More storage because the batteries are actually under in, the bed. Under the bed. Yep. And then, Will, look at this ladder. Yeah. We no do have a nice not ladder. To get up on that one. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Man, this ladder's not flexing at all. All right, that's a sturdy ladder. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice, fully walkable roof. Right there is a tent that you can add an additional room. I love that. You can see that you do have the Dometic AC unit, max air fans, digital antenna right there, and you can see that it does have solar already on the roof. Be careful, last step, it's a big one. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Well, well, the outside of the uh, Overlander looks great. Let's take a look at the inside. All right. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Okay, so we'll start up front. You got a bathroom right here. Coming down the side is the kitchen area, dining area right here. And then your bed is all the way in the back. Where do you want to start? Just like right here? Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll start back here, okay? So um, here's the bed area. Very nice. It's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. We have a ton of storage in here. Oh. Push okay, so you got a twist, okay? Twist and shout, baby. Very nice cabinetry. Held up by a strut. Very nice. Cool. Okay, and it does still pull in the twist to make sure that it's not, you know, going anywhere. Right. Because again, when you're going off the grid, you're rocking and rolling, and um, things are going flying in here. Yeah. So you can tell it's really good cabinetry above. You have your LED lights. We're not going to turn them on. We're, we're at like 6% power on the travel trailer. Right. But I will say the lights are super bright. Even they at are, yeah. So this was the uh, Euro style window I was telling you about. Okay. Okay. You've seen these on some travel trailers. Of course, yeah. Okay. You hear those clicks? Yeah. It locks into different levels. Nice. You have your privacy screen and daytime screen. And then when you're all done with it, and again, these are dual pane, uh, nice really, really nice. And then all that, yeah. Yes, sir. And then we're on this bed. There's a TV right here. Okay. It's TV. You can swing it this way. You can swing it that way. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. So look at that. That's the storage to underneath. Yeah. Those are the lithium ion batteries right there. Right. Wow, super, super cool. That is cool. I actually love that feature. And that bed lift is like really good quality. Right. And then over here, well, above the dinette, again, nice big window. Again, we only have these lights on and um, it's still bright yeah, in here. Yeah, it's only three lights. Look at this, yeah. very nice roof and ceiling. Uh, and then, I can't believe it, but they did it a very nice U-shaped dinette. Yeah, that's nice. Now this is the telescoping table. Okay. It is solid surface. It does drop down to make an additional sleeping area. Probably not comfortable. And again, even though this is a U-shaped dinette, it's a very tight U-shaped dinette. Um, but again, it's getting that job done. It is, yeah. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. And I want everybody to know. Well, you know how many comments we get? A lot. Hundreds, yeah. thousands. And people always say, why can't this manufacturer make a travel trailer the right way? Guys, this is made the right way. This is made the right way. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $94,760. Will, MSRP. Uh, Sonny's 
camp and travel and RVR. We're not selling this for $94,000. They, they do have a decent discount on it, a really good discount on it. So if you're interested in an Overland, uh, Overlander travel trailer, go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that first contact tab. I'm going to get you with a member of my team to get you the best price in America. But again, regardless, even if I get you the best price in the world on this, this is an expensive travel trailer. And again, you are paying for the quality. That's right. And that's what's awesome about it. Again, it's not for me. I'm not an overlander. I'm a imaginer. But <laughs> it is very cool. Will, let's continue the video. All right, sounds good. We'll start over here. Got some nice cabinet space up top here. Yes, sir. Show this down here as well. Okay. Down here, you got a little counter space, probably more for like bedroom stuff. Okay. Nice drawer. Power USB and a little yep, light right, right there. there. Um, nice solid surface countertops. Some more storage right there. There's yes, your third amp cake cord. Some of your controls here for your water heat, uh, tank heaters and all that. Uh, power right there, USB here. Um, nice window here. Again, you do have those same blinds set up here. Mm -hmm. um, nice faucet, big single bowl sink and some storage underneath of that sink. Yes, sir. Oh, is it soft closed? It's soft closed, I think. Yeah, it, it did look soft closed. Yes, it is soft closed. Man, they did it it's right. Very nice. They did it right, boys. Some more storage up top here. That's soft closed as well. Um, nice hood range here. Yes. And then uh, with the light, and then you do have a nice three burner Furion cooktop right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With the blue lights and blue. oven down below. Furion. And then a little bit more storage underneath there. Yep. Not really, actually. That's more air stuff. Uh, Furion refrigerator right here as well. And well, that's yes. running off the batteries and, it, and the battery was at 6%. What's yes. the battery on now? Six percent, and it's still blowing ice cold. It is, yeah. I felt amazing. We've got a little pantry space here. Now this is probably gonna be like multi-purpose because it's a small trailer. Yep. Um, but you know, put some clothes in here and some food. Again, all in one. Cool. That's okay, it, well, right? open up. It's now time for the shower test. All right. I'm Interesting. For this. Interesting. <laughs> So it's the front bathroom and they did, you know what? I hate the radius showers, but they did it. They, they did, did it kind of right. cool, yeah. right? Like with the Venos this or whatever. It's like the one exception. So does that get shower test seal approval? No. no, unfortunately not. No. Nope. Here you go. We do have a nice medicine cabinet for all your medicines. Okay. Okay. Nice little uh, mirror there. Solid surface countertop again and a little sink area. Okay. Okay. And then well, if you want to come yeah. on out. I don't have a lot of hope for this bath or this toilet either. Damn, gotta be skinny, bro. Right. Okay, plastic. You know what this feels like? So no, not not a prime pooping position. You know what it feels like? Like a class B toilet. Oh, a composting toilet. Yeah, it's a composting toilet. Okay. I mean, that's a thousand dollar toilet right there, folks. Yeah. So that's. It's cool. It's not for me. We don't compost. Again, we're, we ima we're imaginers. <laughs> but again, I really do like this unit. I think it's different and well, more importantly, even though this is not for me, I love the variety of yes, it. Yes, for and sure. And that's what the show is all about. Well, it's just bringing people different units. And I love this. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Okay, I have two. Okay. You ready for number one? Yep. Number one is going to be something about the ladder. Jen, kick it over to the footage right now. Okay, so dislike number one, climbing up here on the roof. When I'm up here, there was like the thicker part of metals for me to grab onto. But to come up all the way on the roof, there's no place for me to grab onto. And I actually have to grab on right here, which is hurting my hands, which means I'm not going to be climbing 100% all the way on the roof. Great. So that was number one. Will, dislike number two. Okay, um, I know what yours is, so I'm not gonna steal that. Okay. Even though I agree, but I'm gonna say this whole bathroom right behind Talk you. Talk to me, brother. I mean, everything about that is, is small and tight. I'm not even gonna go back in there because you won't be able to see anything. But 
you know, it's be impossible for me to use the toilet, very hard to use a shower, even the sink area, especially if you had to shut the door. Yeah. Like, there's just no room in there. Here's what I, I will say. Well, if you back up there. Yes. There's almost too much countertop space here. Like, yeah. that, that little place right there. Right here. If yep. you eliminated that and moved everything down... And you move this, it just would have given you that much more clearance. Yeah, have, yeah. Again, I don't mind the compost toilet in this. The reason why the compost toilet in this is good is because you're going off the boondocks, so you don't want to be using exactly. all your water. So I'm, I mean, I'm cool that it's not a prime poop position, but again, a little bit more space in the bathroom, or even removing this closet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just more, more bathroom space. That's number two, and then Will number three. Yes. You ready? Yep. We love solid steps. Yes. We love Lippard. Thanks, Lippard. The one thing I will say for this unit, because it has the hydraulic lift up and down, it messes with the levels of the solid steps. Right. It's so funny because, you know, we always talk about when manufacturers don't put on the solid steps. And that's always our dislike. This is the first time that the solid step actually is our dislike. Right. Because if Jen, if you show the footage right now with the unit down, it just messes up the level of the solid steps. Yep. It's just kind of funny. Like an Overlander is like, everything that I like about a travel trailer is just kind of different with an Overlander. Exactly. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for the easy part. Three things we love about it. Will, do you want to go first? Sure. Talk to me. I'm standing right here. Yes, sir. I think this is so cool. Um, This past weekend, which will really be like, three weekends ago i did a, a big like um a big thing with veterans where we you know we we're wounded veterans who were going off-roading like a charity thing and it was all even just the roads to get back to where we were going like the camping sites and everything was so bumpy and there were rocks everywhere this unit would have been so perfect for what we were doing just to raise it up get that clearance under the rocks and the big dips and divots and everything in that dirt road so that's my first like. I love that. Yep. Like. And and just the fact that it raises up and down. Is pretty, yes. Pretty freaking cool. Well, that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna say the the quality of the cabin tree. Okay. And the the way this is like built. Like the build overall. The yeah. Build overall. So many people they ask about it. They're all like, oh my, X Y and Z is falling apart. Why are they using staples? Why are right, they? Right. Why can't they build an RV like a house or like a car? Uh, because when they do, they're a hundred thousand dollars. Right. You know, but the build quality, of this, it's right for that person who's looking for this, and the fact that it's rated for negative forty degrees. That's crazy. That's insane, and it's it pretty freaking cool. Right. So that's number two, and then well, do you have a number third? Sure. Mine. That one's gonna be outside too. Talk to me. And I'll kind of combo it. Um, like three combos. I'm gonna say these tires. Hell yeah. The fact that there's two spares. Yes. The jack and the gas tank on the front. Love I think it. That Again, the idea is to get off-road with this. Yep. And, you know, You're not going to your local KOA with You're this not. one, folks. You're not. And this past weekend doing that off-roading event, I learned that things break when you're going off-road. Heck frequently. yeah. Frequently. Yep. Um, and it's just set up. Of course, you can't plan for everything. But some of the big stuff that could break, you're just planning really well for that. I love it. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Imperial Outdoors Explorer. Very cool. If you guys are interested in buying one of these, uh, I know we have two dealerships in our network that sells these uh, here in South Carolina at Sonny's and Tom's Camperland in Arizona. So all you got to do is go to MattsRVReviews.com and click that contact tab. We will hook you up with one of them, the closest to you. They'll know that you watch Matt's RV Reviews and they're going to make sure that you get a phenomenal price on this. That's right. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah. Again, huge thank you to RV Retailer. Um, and Houston. And Houston, of course, yes. Um, but again, it's with this partnership that we can film units like this. Yes. Because they just sell so much and it's so cool. It's so exciting. And I really hope you guys love it. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know the three things you like, the three things you dislike, and make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, don't forget if we get, what was it? 500, 500 yep. comments, right? You said likes. I did say likes. I meant comments. 500 oh, comments, America. We will take a trip out to Tom's Camperland and we will be reviewing units like this because it is awesome. All right, sounds good. Thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.